Alright, what's good? Two skinny guys and a camera. How are you doing? We've got another international guest joining us. Massive, massive pleasure to meet you. Saigon. What's up, man? Peace, man. It's your boy, Sai Giddy, London. That's big right, up, man. Big up every time, London. Much respect, man. Yeah, definitely. So you've been back a few times now, like... Yeah, it's like my third time. My third time here, man, so... So what's your kind of um, what's your impressions of it? Because obviously I feel like I'm not sure if um, if you if you get this from the UK people, but we sometimes feel like you Americans think we're all like cups of tea with the, the Queen and uh, you know no, 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 jolly no. good show and all of that. I've been you know? Brixton, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, so you've Brixton, seen it, so. in it? So you've seen know, it for yourself. I know it's thorough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the other side of London. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I got, yeah, I got a chance to hook up with some good people out here. So. Nah, it's very official in London. If you, got, you got it misconstrued. Come over here with that tea sip if you no. want to. <laughs> They'll find you in one of these back alleys in London. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's thorough for sure. Man. All for right, sure. yeah, man. We like that. We like that. All right, so obviously there's been a, a many places you've uh, traveled to, you know, on, on the back of hip hop, obviously, being yeah. such a beautiful thing, universal language. Absolutely. Is there um, like any highlights as to some of the places that I might not even know about some of the places you might have, like, far reached? China, places, China, oh, wow, China. like, stuff like China that. China was big because they knew the words and didn't once the cell was over, they couldn't, you couldn't communicate with them at all. It's crazy. Well, I just sat here and sang all the songs. Now we can't even talk. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's all they knew. That's all the whole English they knew was, was hip hop. So that was kind of amazing. You know, I got to go to the um, Great Wall of China. And all. When I go places, I like to see the sights. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I went to Buckingham culture. Palace before. You know, I want to see things. I just came from Berlin onto the Berlin Wall. Yeah. Like, I like to see things I used to read about in social studies. Exactly, yeah. So yeah, man, it's been beautiful just being on the road, man. So yeah, just talking about that, like you said, seeing so many things and like it's through all through hip hop and and stuff like that. I've Absolutely. always thought there's a, there's many good examples of how hip hop has really been a good influence on people's lives that that could have gone a different way. And I think like you could literally be the poster boy for that one. So I think like, I am. Cause I, yeah, I know I'd be in prison or dead without this. I know for a fact. Like I was telling my homie that other day we was eating. And he, he was like, Yo, my mom, I worked at Burger King for one day. I was like, Damn, man, I never had a job, man. Never had a job in my life. Never had one real job where I got work ever in my life. And I was like, damn, man. For, it's fortunate, but it's, it's sad that, you know, that I, you know, if, if hip hop, let's say, God forbid, I lose my voice or something, I don't have no skills. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm messed up after that. And goes right in on the phone. DOC. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? But, you know. Mm. You know, it's, yeah, man, it's a beautiful thing. I'm, I've been able to take care of myself, provide for my family through hip hop, and you know, and keep me out of BS, you know, keep mm -hmm. me out of trouble. So, you know, I mean, shout out to hip hop for saving a lot of black lives and white lives. You know what I mean? For Definitely, sure, man. Yeah, we like to show interviews to older people as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they can appreciate it because sometimes they get yeah, hip hop down on that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like hip hop does. Like them, them two, like them two words sometimes mean, all they do. mean that's something. Why I, that's why I don't even like to tell people I'm a rapper. I'm yeah, just a stereotype with it. If I meet a chick and be like, "What you do?" I'd be like, I'm an "Actor, on the rise, isn't it?" Yeah, yeah, I'm an actor. Yeah, yeah, I'm, like, yeah, I'm, like, yeah, I'm a producer. I do not say rapper. <laughs> that's the last thing you want to say. Is it stereotype? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh no way! I ain't fucking with you, man. Like, I'm like, wow. What? Come on, man. You know, so so you know, hip hop, hip hop, like hip hop got a stereotype. You know, because all they hear is the curse words and mm -hmm. you know the, 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 the bad, the bad terms that we call women. Like, you know, and they don't look in between the lines. So you know, if I if I didn't, if I wasn't part of it, and I went to get into it, and a lot of the stuff that I hear, I probably wouldn't like it either. Mm -hmm. yeah, to tell you the truth, right, I was happy to be raised at a time when hip hop had social commentary and meant something. That's what made me fall in love with it. This new age rap, with, you know. Getting money and we got strippers and we got bitches. <laughs> I would I, if I was just getting into it. I wouldn't want. I wouldn't want any of that shit. I, I like what. What kind of you know? I'm saying. What you think made that transition kind of happen? Was it a slow thing? Uh, you think, or was it just, just the money? It was, it was the money, money was, and part. Like hip hop wasn't born on the radio. Wasn't born in a nightclub. But that's where it lives now. Like so, mm -hmm. when you're in a nightclub, nobody's trying to think. Or, you know, deep lyrics. Yeah, yeah. Just People want to drink and, and, and yeah, yeah, bounce and mm. so now it's like, you know, this. I mean, this this music that I think is appropriate for the club, but not not ninety five percent of hip hop mm. should be mm. geared toward the club. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. When I'm driving down the street, I don't want to hear no party song. Mm. 
It's a party, it's a party. No, I'm driving down the street. <laughs> I'm in traffic. Yeah, like. party, yeah, yeah, it's a party <laughs> right now. So, this, I mean, that, that music is, it, I think that hip hop just became all that. That music has a place, but when everybody sees winning and everybody tries to do the same thing, that's when it became, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody's like, hey, what worked for him, it should work for me. And that's, that, that's not the, always the actual fact. Uh, you have certain artists that tell you, I'm not with the lyrical shit. I, I make party songs. And then they'll say it flat out. Yeah, yeah. and then they be like, I ain't no MC. I don't consider myself an MC. I'm, I'm only going to make party booty shaking music. And it is what it is. Some dudes want to be, some dudes really like the, the, the lyrical aspect of it. You know? I just happen to, I try to do it all. I try to be universal and versatile. But anybody who know me know I'm more of a thinking type of musician. I mean, I've even seen, like like you were saying, I've seen rappers say that they've, they've consciously dumbed it down and just said, yeah, I was on that, that lyrical stuff, and then I thought, you know what, what's the point, man? Yeah, the bells, the lyrics were paid the bells. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, this was paid the bells. <laughs> so, this like, paid the bells. <laughs> obviously, like, one of the main things that we definitely have respect for you is, like, integrity as an artist kind of thing, so you've never... Integrity, really, like, I'm going to tell you something, man. Integrity is a tricky thing, man. Integrity will leave broken projects, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta wide it's a thin line, man. You know, I love I love the coach, I love what it is, but it been raped and pillaged so much that is there's no honor amongst thieves. You can't go amongst some thieves and try to be an honorable person. Because yeah. yeah. you gonna get fucked in the end. Cause you just wanna sit there trying to use honor and code and integrity and and they not. They like, man, fuck this nigga, just break this nigga, you know what I mean? <laughs> so sometimes you gotta fight fire with fire. You know what I'm saying? Sad but true, yeah. Man. It's sad but true. Because you know I mean? when you're dealing with these companies, they don't care about the culture. They care about a dollar sign. So if they... Statistics. They, huh? you, yeah, it's statistic. Numbers talk. Like, if there's a new guy who they think is going to do more numbers than you, they're going to stop picking up your phone, man. Right? Just yesterday, they'd be like, we love you. They'll pinch your cheeks. <laughs> they love you, man. Come here. We love you. Tomorrow, Joe Blow come along, he's the new hot kid. They won't even answer your phone. Like, I thought y'all loved me. They'd be the dumb one sitting there. I thought you loved me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did the last guy. He thought, he, he thought we loved him too. Oh, man. <laughs> Where's he at? So you get that kiss of death, that, that, that Fredo kiss of death sometimes. You gotta watch out for it. They look at you like, that kiss? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Watch out for that yeah. one artist out there, that man. Kiss right there. That's a good thing. That means it's almost over, man. It's almost over. Yeah. It's almost over. <laughs> All right, a question we definitely have to ask everyone is like, your biggest pleasure and pain are like the music games. So your biggest high that biggest keeps pleasure, you going. My biggest pleasure is this, man. Traveling the world. Yeah. Of course, taking care of my daughter without doing illegal activity, you know what I'm saying? My biggest pain is, you know, the fact that my music doesn't get the same push that the ignorance gets. Because people want it, it's just not, they're not pushing it like they're supposed to. Because it's not, it's not conducive with them, you know, making money. If people start thinking, they're going to go, hey, man, we can't sell Mercedes Benzes with hip-hop no more. We can't sell Gucci and Louis Vuitton. The other day I put on Twitter, I said, name, Make a list of every rapper who, whose name is either a car, a Italian gangster, or a clothing line. And it was a list of like every rapper. I was like, damn. <laughs> it was dudes I wasn't even thinking of. You know, these people at home probably shouting them right now. The AK, yeah, there's people right now. I'm like, <laughs> oh, hey, man. And yeah. the I'm talking, it was like 45, 50 rappers. They named themselves after an Italian gangster, a car, a name of a car, or a name of a clothing line. And I was like, whoa. Monkey see, buggy do, baby. It's what it is, man. People, people, people are not artistic, cause an artist draws his own picture, man. And, and, and somebody who don't have that, they just see a picture and trace it and copy. Mm. And, and when, when we was coming up, there was a thing in hip hop called biting that you couldn't, you wasn't able to bite. You couldn't sound like nobody. You couldn't have a person's whole flow, slang. You had to come up with your own mm. stuff, and that's what made it creative, cause you had to be original. Now it's like. One person to do something, and everybody yeah, do it. Yeah. Remember the auto tune era? Yeah, yeah. Everybody did the auto tune. Now everybody did the skinny pants. <laughs> everybody did. Like one person to do something, and everybody run with it. So that's what kind of made it kind of corny. You know? What was your thoughts on the auto tune, like when when it came out? Huh? The auto tune in general, just like it's the auto tune. I mean, I, I mean, auto tune ain't no. Yeah. The, what made it whack was everybody copied T Pain. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? T Pain came and he did it. Yeah, right. That's his lane. He was like, he was creative enough in the studio to go. You know what? 
who mess with this machine, man? He's playing gangs. I can't stay. Rap a third <laughs> singer. Rap a third singer. Watch this. And he made it work. But then, you, then everybody came out of the woodworks doing it. I mean, some people know how to do it better than others because they're just good in the studio. But just the whole concept of using a voice box became cheesy. That's why it came as fast as it came and went. Mm. Now you don't see everybody doing it every day, like like like, like two years ago. Yeah, yeah. The past in fad, really. It's a fad, mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, let's talk um, 2011. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? The big, big album. We've been waiting for it for a while. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It yeah. came, and we were definitely not disappointed. You know what I'm saying? Myself and Bo was very, very I pleased with it. Man. You know what I'm saying? It was real. This album was really. Uh, it, it wasn't like there's really no hardcore rap on it. And I took all the violence out of the album. I did that on purpose. I just wanted my debut album to be my foundation and I wanted it to be something serious. Okay, Don't get me wrong, man. man. This next time, this next go round, I'm a little bit angry. Oh, okay, you got so a few issues you want to address. The stocking caps to come again. Oh, I'm okay. Get back on you my listen now. to that shit on the way here, man. Yeah, you know, like, like I wanted my, my, for my first real album to be. Real, you know, I believe every album, every big, every real artist, their debut album is, you know, their foundation. You look at Ice Cube's, you look at, you know, Nas, you look at Black Moon into the stage, you look at uh, everybody, man, whose first album, Jay Z, reason with that, was set the stage. So I want, I want people to know that, you know, even though people do know, I got, you know, a lot of some violence in my lyrics, you know, most mostly me. It was, whether you want to call me conscious or thinking MC, that's why I, I want my foundation to be. I don't never want it to seem far fetched if I was to go, you know, lead a pilgrimage, you go try to lead some kids to the to the, to the promised land. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I don't want people to be like, yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It don't seem far fetched. So, you know, because ultimately rapping gonna be around forever. Not for me, because I'm not gonna be one of them dudes doing it when 45. So, you know, gotta set up. Such a future. Yeah, so, yeah. so you talked a little bit about because obviously um, you've had different processes where you thought it might be coming out or whatever. Like we're not going to talk about the negative side of things, but yeah. just to talk about the way that, like you, like you said, you made a conscious decision to kind of change it towards that that positive, you know, what I'm saying thing. Yeah, it was like that's why I didn't come out. That's what took it so long. Yeah, because when Atlantic Records signed me, they know me for being just getting out of jail and being, you know, the Fifty Cent era was new. He was the most violent man on the planet, so they was trying to copy him. Okay. But I told him, for, you know, from the rip, we both had a street buzz. But I'm like, I don't do that. I do something different. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. When y'all signed me, because that's what they kept trying to make me do. Then they tried to put me in the studio with Pretty Ricky. Then they tried, they kept trying to do something to like market me as some gimmick. And I'm like, yo, I'm not a gimmick. But he's like, I love, I do this hip hop. This is what I do. I live, I live and breathe this shit every day. So you know, it didn't work out over there, and I just you know, did it myself. It's worked that, out for me. Respect that, man. Yeah, yeah no, it's yeah. a good situation right now. Yeah, without yeah, a doubt, I mean, I mean, you must be I happy. To make money. Response. I get to make money now. Yeah, that, that, that being a slave to the rhythm. You know what I mean? A lot of critical acclaim. You know what I'm saying? A lot, of, a lot of love as well. You know what I'm I saying? Love. So yeah, know. just to, to end off on talking about the future, what what you can expect for Saigon in the rest of 2011? Man, and Bread forward. and Circuses. Bread and Circuses is my next album. I'm working on it now. I just started it. It's, it's crazy, man. It's called Bread and Circuses. That's what you know. Hip hop has become. That's what the world has become. American society is you know giving bread and circuses, and they'll never revolt. Know, give them entertainment and food, and these, they're, they're fall right in line. And that's mm-hmm. what that's what the world we live in right now. You know, people are so entertained all year round. Meanwhile, you know, the government, and the, what you want to call Illuminati or whatever mm-hmm. people want to call them, mm-hmm. are mm-hmm. really yeah. Freemasons yeah. or whatever. They they the ones really making power moves while we sitting around. You always drug your victim before you rape them. Mm-hmm. We all like zombies, drugged up, just caring about entertainment. Who's dating who? Who's with this one? TMZ, yeah, yeah. shit ain't about nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's wearing what? Yeah, award what to the award yeah, show? Yeah, every year, like yeah. Every year, like who cares? The hairpiece and yeah, yeah. <laughs> turning up in eggs. Yeah, who gain weight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ten yeah. pounds. Yeah. Look at her. So, fuck what? Maybe she wanted to eat this week. Yeah. Maybe she ain't feel like throwing up everything she ate. Believe me, she liked herself that week. Yeah, like. She didn't want to be believing this week. <laughs> <laughs> it matter. 
you are done. Man. We got to hit it, yeah. All right, so yeah, man, signing off, man. Ma- massive thank you for taking that time out, man. Sorry about the great story never told. You need to check it. out the show, man. You yeah, know, straight up. This boy, we did it big in London, you heard me? Straight up. Slow boxed out, man. Shout out to all the real niggas, man. Pow! <laughs>